Hi, welcome to my video. Uh, this video hopefully will show you how to troubleshoot a uh, misfire or an ignition fault um, on a R56 uh, new shape BMW Mini. Uh, this is a, actually a 2009-2010 Mini Cooper S uh, convertible model. Um, it's, I think it's the R56. Um, basically the wife's driving along uh, and the uh, little uh, ECU symbol which I'm sure you've all seen uh, uh, it was illuminated it comes on normally when the vehicle starts anyway um, uh, so uh, I'm fortunate enough I've got like one of these small um, diagnostic tools uh, plugged it in read the code um, and it come up with a P0304 uh, I think if uh, I'm not mistaken now what that means is uh, essentially you've got a problem with one of these uh, this unit is one of the new modern style self-contained uh, spark plug leads that uh, also include the the actual uh, coil pack if you like individually so the days of cars having a single coil pack with four spark plug leads on a four cylinder car have gone and now each individual uh, uh, spark plug has its own unique individual spark plug coil pack uh, you can see there's a plug on the top there individual so um, basically what happens um, is the code p0304 uh, actually denotes um, a misfire on cylinder number four i removed uh, the uh, spark plug uh, not spark plug sorry the the coil pack uh, and basically it's it's just a rubber mounted thing you just literally pull it up it pops out you un lift this latch up and pull the plug out I'll, I'll pause this video in a minute and show you me removing and installing one on the engine uh, but it is very very simple um, and this unit is actually made by uh, Delphi uh, there is a part number on it but I'm sure I'm sure you'll be able to find the part number out uh, I bought a replacement I actually bought a Bosch replacement they are interchangeable with the Delphi ones uh, I bought a Bosch replacement off eBay, brand new, boxed, for less than 25 quid. Um, okay, so that's the offending article. I mean, you can see here that when I pulled it out, it was all brown and dirty. Um, it's obviously, I presume, been overheating and corroding. Uh, maybe it's had a little bit of water in the, the uh, cylinder bore there at some stage. Um, I actually proved it was this, this item by interchanging it uh, from number four position to number one position clearing the code, taking the car out for a quick blast and uh, and that told me um, that the, the uh, misfire had transferred to cylinder number one uh, so therefore proving that it was this, was the offending item um, ok so yeah, very simple um, if you do get another code and yours are similar and it says P301 well that's cylinder one P302 is cylinder two, three and four etc uh, corresponding, dead easy to change two seconds, 25 quid cures the misfire um, you will need a code reader um, or a reset tool to um, get rid of the logged ECU message I'm just going to pause this video now and I'll go under the bonnet and I'll show you um, how to change them where they live okay uh, that was magic so here we are we're under the uh, bonnet of the car now so hopefully you can uh, you can see this well it's a bit dark um, so just, just, to, just to confirm as you look at it, this is uh, classed as P301, 302, 303, 304. Uh, so simply to remove one of these coils, uh, all you basically do is just lift up the latch like this, he says. It just clips up and as you push it up, it actually removes the plug. Check the plug for anything obvious, burning, corrosion, uh, particularly damp. They suffer from damp. And then the unit itself uh, just literally pulls up. I'm going to pull this one up. A bit of a tug, you can hear it pop. There you go. Uh, and that gives you some sort of comparison. This is obviously a good one. Uh, and this is a, a not so good one. So you, you can see quite clearly that something's been going on with the, uh, with the brown one. And it's, something's not very good. So to, to refit, you just literally drop that straight in. Give it a jiggle make sure it's on the lead push it down nice and firm uh, put the plug lead back in just push it and just literally feed it in until I mean that is as simple as it gets you know I mean uh, 
you know, a, a 10 year old kid can do that. You don't need to take your car to Mini and pay hundreds of pounds for him to diagnose this fault. You just need a code reader. Go on eBay, buy yourself a Bluetooth code, read, code reader for, for, for 20, 30 quid, uh, and you'll probably be able to isolate it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's, hopefully, um, that's hopefully cured it. The dog's trying to do some maintenance as well. You want to try and fix it? <laughs> but there you go. Hopefully that helped. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.